<clears throat> well, YouTube, true crime, tips, and everything else, I can't speak for the states, and I can't say that of uh, any of the malls that I know of that have been torn down, but I figured I'd share this with everybody, and to me, as, well, as far as I know, this is the first mall, I think, has literally just been eliminated from time. Built in 1985, the Greendale Mall was, <clears throat> of course, thriving and just a, uh, you know, perfect way to get out and spend the afternoon for some brunch and some shopping. Now, as you can see, there's nothing here but little partial bits of the building and the Greendale Mall side. I'm about to wonder if they're just going to keep that there for whatever they're going to build next, but... <clears throat> this is sad to me, even though I didn't, I mean, I did come here and shop, and the last time I came here was like in 20, oh man, what was it, 2016, because my son put a friggin' phone up for sale, and he was just learning how to use <laughs> Craigslist, and a little bastard, you know, had someone that wanted to buy a phone, and I had to meet him here, but... <clears throat> you know, it's just sad to see stuff like this, and of course, I like to document it because, of course, of modern age, you know, the future, but then again, you can't be surprised about stuff like this either because due to mall shootings, <clears throat> stuff like that, and yeah, what better way to eliminate all that by stop <laughs> mauling it? But all in all, man, memories of when I used to hang out in the malls and where I live in, um, used to be Sears Town Mall, now Whitney Field. I believe they are next in line. <laughs> Sucks to say, but their stores in there are, you know, limited to. <clears throat> I'm very surprised they're even still open to this day. Of course, Macy's shut down, Sears shut down, and yeah. It's just, you know, crazy things of the future that's, you know, that's happening that makes you wonder, wow, what's the future really going to look like? Look like um, running a Blade Runner with Harrison Ford. That's how I picture the future. That was an awesome movie. I would recommend anybody to check that movie out. But, or even the Jetsons, all high-rise stilt houses up in the sky. <laughs> no, no, I just had to share this anyways. Even that show was before its time and it was just a cartoon. But, you know, I'm sad to see stuff like this, but I like to document it, get it out there. And like I said, I used to shop here too, so just by looking at it, man, it's like, wow. <laughs> I can't believe the times. Of course, man, I'm getting up there with age. People call me old-fashioned. They don't even know what real old-fashioned is, but I'll take that as a compliment, and I'll take it in honor of being old-fashioned because I can tell you right now, I would live and be wanted back in them days than today. And of course, everybody's just flipping out anyways and losing their minds because you're not taught properly in the future. Oh, hell no. And I'll put a stamp, seal, delivered, signed contract on that. Put money on that. I'll show you a hundred grand to prove that I'm right on theories. Old fashioned is the way to go. But these times, it's sad to see. Until that next video, be safe, take care, always honor things that have been in the past because I'll tell you, <laughs> them times, I would never give up. And see in the future, oh man, I don't know folks, hopefully they get that time machine made so I can zip back where I belong. Give my old self a little bit of more advice. Stay away from the drinking. But 
Anyways, take care, everybody. Out.